Uh, John Giesman. Yes, thank you. And uh, we'd be followed by Susan Harvey from the North County Watch, then Stephen Jones from the Center for Biological Diversity. I'm John Giesman, representing the Alliance for Nuclear Responsibility. We have appeared before you previously uh, on issues related to Diablo Canyon, uh, and I suspect we probably will again, unless PG&E is overcome by a tsunami of common sense about the wisdom <laughs> about the wisdom of locating a geriatric nuclear power plant nestled in a web of earthquake faults. That's important to you because after the federal government rubber stamps their license extension, and I doubt there's anybody within the sound of my voice that doubts that that will happen. After that rubber stamping, the issue will come to your commission for the final determination. Under the law, you need to make a decision as to whether locating a nuclear power plant of 1960s design and the most seismically precarious location in North America, you need to make a decision as to whether that makes any sense and more importantly, whether it conforms to the California Coastal Plan. The Coastal Zone Management Act empowers you to do that. But I didn't come here to talk about Diablo Canyon. For no reason of my own, and more happenstance by plan, I happened to have the pleasurable experience of being the executive director of the California Energy Commission in the first Jerry Brown administration, and then 19 years later, an appointee by Governor Davis to the California Energy Commission. So I've been on both sides of this abyss that separates us today. And let me tell you that the difference between being a commissioner and an executive director are more profound than I think most people realize unless they've been in both pair of shoes. I don't want to lecture you about how to be a good commissioner, but I can tell you from my own experience, I had a young daughter at the time who was subjected to all of the indoctrination about team sports and orchestras and theaters. She wasn't interested in any of that crap. But I found it useful myself because it said, know your position, master your instrument, understand your role. And I will tell you, I understand Dr. Lester has suggested a couple of uh, opportunities for the commission to participate more actively in commission administration. In my experience, my advice to you as individual commissioners would be each increment of your own attention that you devote to micromanaging staff decisions is time wasted. It takes away from your ability to be focused decision makers on policy questions, which is what your appointing authorities appointed you to do. This commission, over the last four decades, has defined in many ways what it means to be a Californian. Second election I ever participated, I cast my ballot for the Coastal Initiative. Single best and single most enduring vote I have ever cast. Your primary obligation as fiduciaries in your decision today should be to preserve and enhance the role of your most important asset, the professional integrity of a professional or of an independent staff. If you discharge Dr. Lester today, you will destroy any public confidence in your commitment to doing so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Susan? Excuse me? Part of the same uh, group it should be stapled behind Alliance okay. for Nuclear Responsibility. Uh, I have his remaining you. minute, if I may. And yes. it will only take that. Uh, David Weissman, Alliance for Nuclear Responsibility as well. And I would like to just uh, follow up on Mr. Giesman's final points by saying what Dr. Uh, uh, Lester's continuing presence does, especially in an issue like ours that, while very singular, has a long history, is keeps in place a consistency, a continuity, and also, most importantly, a sense of institutional memory that, upon having to replace that long-term sense of institutional memory, would almost involve in, the long, uh, in terms of rewriting the entire book. And to avoid that, his continued presence 
remains important at the, uh, at the Commission. Thank you very much. Thank you.